Trace Trolco. Sons of UCF, Knights now 3-3 three and three following Saturday's 19-13 loss to Cincinnati here in the bounce house. Head coach Gus Malzahn looks at it as a reset with the second half of the season ahead, but questions remain now following the benching of quarterback K.J. Jefferson and who the Knights will start heading to top 10 ranked Iowa State this weekend. Yeah, we're still working through it, but he'll be the first to take snaps um, with the first team tomorrow, and we'll see how that goes moving forward. But I was real pleased with the way he responded. Um, you know, the moment wasn't too big for him. Uh, he, for the first time, really out in real action. Those other two times were just kind of mop up. I thought he did some really good things. He gave some a spark to our offense. You know, at EJ, I thought did some good things for his first rodeo too. But uh, Brown will be the first to take snaps. You know, anytime you can't get in the red zone, you got to evaluate everything, whether it's play calling, whether it's scheme, um, you know, whether it's who's touching the ball, and we're doing that. And that's really been our biggest focus. There's two things going into this week that we've really focused on, and it is red zone offense and it's third down defense. Last week, we focused extremely hard on, you know, red zone uh, defense, and we improved. Um, so that's been the focus, and those are the two areas that we need to improve on the most, and that's what we'll spend the majority of our practice time this week on. Well, you know, at the beginning of the season, you guys were asking about how, how we're going to come together and how, how our chemistry is going to work. I feel like we're at a strong spot right now, and all you have to do is just band together and just worry about, don't, don't block out, you know, block out everything else on the outside. Just worry about us and get a win, really, you know, play a cleaner football game, and hopefully we'll get a win. I believe we haven't showed what we can like, just like you said, the discipline, like we keep beating ourselves. And once we get past that point, I believe we're going to be a really good team. Iowa State didn't get its top 10 ranking by mistake. They are sound on both sides of the ball. Knights double-digit underdogs as they travel to Iowa State for a Saturday 7.30 Eastern start in Ames, Iowa. For the Sons of UCF, I'm Trace Trollco.